Final topic to talk about with labor demand is the effects from taxes. So we talked about the idea of the free market and what tends to happen is that the market is not free. So there are laws in place that require employers to pay a portion of their employees pay um, to the government form of taxes and that's going to be things like unemployment insurance, um, Social Security, retirement, Medicare. Now you as the employee have to pay some of that too but let's we're just looking at the employer side right now. So I'm going to take this off here again. And we're going to look at this and talk about what happened. So let's say that without any taxes, our demand is D0. Right, here's supply. So we have a demand and supply of labor. And this is. Oops. And this is our market clearing, or this is the equilibrium. So you have W star and L star. Okay. Well, now there's some tax, and that tax is the amount that um, the employer needs to pay in order to to the government to employ that worker. And so, for simplicity, let's just say that this is some lump sum tax. So, and we'll call it T. So let's just say that the worker has to pay T um, for every worker that they employ. So what that means then is if they wanted to um, keep the wage, sorry, if they wanted to keep the wage at W star, then what they would actually have to pay would be the W star, which is what they're paying their employee, plus the tax. And so it's this line here. But the problem is, at that line, okay, they would, at W zero plus X, they would only want to employ this amount of labor. That's all that they would demand. And so they would demand um, let's just say A. So that's all that they would demand. In order for the employers to keep the wage at this L star here, the total um, market, or sorry, the, the total amount that they would need to, or sorry, let me phrase. If they wanted to keep employing this L star amount, okay, then they would need to lower their wages. They would need to lower their wages down this W0 minus T. Because at W0 minus T, I mean this is just from the demand side, if you they would have to pay that. And so the amount that they would actually pay would be here. So they would be at this point Oops. They would be at this point here, but the employees would only be receiving this W0 minus T. And so they would be here. Okay. So what ends up having to happen then? Well, up here. What ends up happening is when they have to pay this tax, because um, they need to take into account the fact that the supply, which is the amount that the that the employees are willing and able to work for, right, you as an employee don't care about um, how much you would make after your employer took out the tax you had to pay the government. You care about what you're getting. Okay, you care about that after tax amount. That means that um, if the uh, W0 plus T, okay. well if that was the case, if that's what was getting paid, then you as an employee would receive that W star. So to account for the fact that you have to look at the after tax pay, okay, 
right, because that's what the employees care about. The actual demand with taxes, let's see this is D2, would be such that the difference between it is going to be that tax amount. So now you have it the case, because again, you're looking from this from the employer's standpoint. So where these two equal each other, and let's say this is just a B, all right? Well, if this is the case, you're going to have some wage, let's call it um, wage zero, okay? And that's what, you know, at, at W zero, there are B units of labor that are demanded. But the employer, sorry, that are supplied. But the employer needs to still pay that full amount, that extra T. And that B, that's how many people they want to employ at this point. So it's W, oops, W0 plus T. So the idea, going back here then, is that when we have our you know we have our new demand where the difference is t the result is going to be um, some lower wage and some lower level of employment so the goal of the government or not the goal but one of the un intended consequences that the tax um, ends up affecting the employee, employees both in lower units that are employed and a lower take-home pay. So you know that's what ends up getting forced. Now the, the actual cost of that ends up getting shared and if we look at the amount here and so again we have our let's say D1 this is what is um, this is what ends up getting the equilibrium and so this W1 is going to be what the employees receive and this W2 is going to be what the employers end up paying and so you can see that the, the tax gets shared because again the difference between these two lines is going to be um, the tax and so the employees see the wage go from W star down to W1, which isn't the full tax. The employers see the, the, what they pay go from W star to W2, which again isn't the full tax. And so with taxes, um, it gets split between them.